So, I'm totally underneath the weather uh, this week. Wow, that so did not make any sense. It sounded like. Um, so, anyways, yeah, this uh, week they're talking about birthdays and things of that nature. Y'all guys are freaking awesome. I can't believe there's so many people with birthdays in March. So, happy birthday to all of you and Lori. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I hope you have a great birthday and a happy late birthday to you, Jess. And, uh, yeah, Michelle is soon to be. So, gorgeous, gorgeous ladies, or handsome, whatever you want to be called. Um, yeah, mine's actually in June. So, yeah, summer baby. It can suck, but it can also be awesome. What I like to do is actually get out into the mountains or to the beach. Beach usually, but it's the most expensive weekend on my birthday to actually go down to the beach here on the east coast so anyways let's see favorite birthday memory 16 years old all I wanted was to actually get my tongue pierced and I told my mom that is everything that I want everything and so Mama Dukes goes up there and uh, she signs for me and it was yeah the greatest so that night get home and I decided that, you know, my dad wanted to make me something special. And my dad's one of those guys who doesn't agree with anything that my mother does. So, he ended up fixing me a steak with cayenne pepper and every type of spice that would be extremely painful. And loaded potatoes and uh, my favorite uh sweet corn sweet cream corn this is good stuff yeah needless to say he knew that I got my tongue pierced and I started turning bright red after I had taken the first bite of the steak because I was trying to keep it from him because I would have totally been uh, grounded and spanked and all that crazy stuff yes yes switches even with the vines still on them yeah the little Prickly's, yeah, still kept them on there. So horrible night. I'm glad I got a um, high tolerance for pain. He ended up thinking that I'd had my tongue pierced for quite a couple of years and thought I'd had it re-pierced. So yeah, 16 was a good one. This past one was too. Uh, was heading back home and I got a call to go to one of my best friend's houses that actually throw me a surprise birthday party with over 200 of my closest friends so that was majorly awesome even though I was really tore up by that time 34 different liquors and a case of beer by that time that I showed up but that was really awesome so those are two different ones um favorite way to celebrate it really just depends if I want to get with my friends or not I love going to concerts I've seen Nine Inch Nails um, for two of my birthdays now and uh, I plan on doing it this year too so down in North Carolina I will be going to see Nine Inch Nails again with a bunch of my uh, best friends so love Nine Inch Nails Trent Reznor is amazing if I'm not doing that, I like to get some of my friends together and we'll all go down to the beach or to the mountains or somewhere just freaking random. I'll make them jump in the car and we'll go to a random town. So, um, perfect gift. Just chilling. Gift-wise, I'm not too big into gifts. I don't have too many emotions. So, um, just like Cade, I don't, uh, yeah, I'm the worst. I don't like surprise gifts. It annoys the hell out of me. Really? Seriously? Think about it. I want to know what I'm getting. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Just really just taking that time out just to chill with me, what have you. I'm not too big on birthdays. I think my 18th birthday was like the worst one that I ever had. But we won't go there. We won't go there. Maybe another day. So anyways, I hope y'all guys have a great uh, weekend there, and um, yeah, happy birthday, Beefs.